It is, of course, fire season, and Western fire officials are trying to make it a little easier for you and first responders to keep track of active wildfires in real time. Tonight, there's a new first-of-its-kind fire map. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen learned all about it from a retired fire chief. If there is a fire near you or you're in a dangerous situation, there is now an easily accessible fire map you can use. Fire season sort of doesn't exist anymore. We really do talk about a fire year in the United States. As California prepares for a summer of excessive heat and drought, the Western Fire Chiefs Association is introducing this fire map to provide near real-time information about active wildfires. The fire map is a first of its kind which is pretty exciting. The fire map pulls data from a number of sources, including 911 dispatch data via pulse point to track the location of wildfires as they start and while they're burning. Here's how it works. Head to this website from your cell phone or computer. I tested it out on my cell phone. Click on a fire in your area. I clicked on the Washburn fire, threatening the sequoias. This box will pop up showing the percentage of of containment, the size of the fire, how many responders are assigned, and how long the fire has been active. You can also zoom into the fire to get an even closer look. This system is designed to send very little data quickly over stress connections, so I can still get that information on my phone, which does not exist with any existing maps. So what we want is communities that are learning to live safely with fire, and that's a fire adapted community. If I am a member of a community that lives with fire, which I am, the more information that I can get and the more accurate it is and the quicker and easier I can get it, the more informed I'm going to be. This is just phase one of the fire map. Phase two should have satellite images, while phase three will include 3D models and text notifications. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.